Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the probability basics. This is a third video on this topic, so we're looking at a couple more skills in this video. Uh, okay, so the first one is listing outcomes. Uh, so let's say I've got two spinners here, and I spin them both, and I want to add up uh, the outcomes of both. Uh, so I can draw a table uh, to represent the possible outcomes here. Uh, so if along the top we have spinner one, uh, let's say that's the one on the left and the one on the right is spinner two. Uh, so I can have either one, two, three, four, or five for each one. So we can put them as the headings. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the same uh, down the other side. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now I can list all the possible outcomes. So remember I'm adding uh, the outcomes of both uh, into this grid here. So if I make this into a grid, like so, Okay, so all I'd have to do then is uh, fill out each of these boxes, adding up the two values. So 1 plus 1 would be 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and so on on this row. Uh, so I'd have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on this row. And then for the next bit, I'd have 2 plus 2, and so on. Uh, so I'm not going to bother filling out the rest of the table, uh, but this, uh, this type of methodology is known as listing the outcomes, or exhausting all the possible outcomes. Uh, so essentially all you're doing is listing all the possible ways that something can happen. 